All right, <clears throat> so I finished, what did I do? I finished 16th in uh, 77. 16th, I was hoping for a top 10, but couldn't get it. I think I dropped, I, I picked up enough to get me into the hunt, but it was pretty tight up at the top. Got one big toppa. Any big toppa is a good big toppa. Where was I at? I think I, I think I uh, picked one up and dropped one, if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe I dropped one in my 70s, in my 88, or odd odd account. There is one of those holes, there's a couple of those holes on there that were like right there. Missing number one, for sure. It was a good round. I mean, I had fun. That's the thing is, I did have fun playing that round, but... Uh, I needed one more, and even a 16, 16 is uh, 15s all the way up to 5th, and then the 16s start, 17s at the top, let's see what their qualifying round was, they had a 14, so I would have came in 6th, even if I'd have shot the 16. And that's exactly what I thought the weekend round was going to look like. Is that, you know, like if you shot a 16, they might interview you, but really you had to get, you needed to be up there. And it was very possible to get an 18. So for somebody to fire off an 18, 19, 20, I mean, all, every hole had an opportunity. So great tournament. I like those holes. I'm going to play some Tour 7. Well, let's see. They got that tournament is out. Hold on. I don't think I have any practice tokens. I'll just go play around. What we should go what I should go do is just play around with a Marlin. And let's see what we can get done with a Marlin and then you can kind of get an idea. There are some of the holes though. I think it is worth bringing out a bigger ball. <laughs> Could play it with a katana. It is tournament holes. After all, That one rolling. Let's see, can we play? I, I don't think I have enough practice tokens. Practice. I think I only have a few. Three. Well, it's if you can get lucky enough to actually get your shit to fire off. Reload. And it is selected. Reload and selected. I got two things going that should theoretically just immediately give me 12 tokens. <laughs> but 40 games from now, I will get my 12 tokens. I am not actually sure what bag. I think on pretty much every bag on this course, you're, I'm using a sniper. And I think all the rest of my stuff is the same. I don't think there's any holes that I need uh, anything other than a sniper. I don't think there's anywhere I need a Goliath. However, that m I may be wrong on that. I may be wrong because there's a couple of holes that... No, the old, the old one, I won't need a Goliath. Hornet. I'm going to take... We're just going to play it with a, we're going to play it with a katana. I'll just play every hole with a katana. And I've got a selection. Everything's the same. I'm going to bring my kingfisher in that one. got to remember what account I'm in. <laughs> Everything's the same except for the driver. So i got five different drivers to choose from. I really like to play round to round just so I can get used to it. But I'm not sure about distances. So, all right, here we go. I'm just going to play, and I don't know. I'm not even going to look at the holes. We're just going to go out and play so I can get just a rough idea what the thing is. 
practice. Practice now. All right, I do want to think about on this hole. Now well, I guess I'm not going to be able to do that if we're going to actually maximize our practice. Let's go check out uh, courses. Oasis, hole number one. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to get over to here. I mean, if we're gonna practice this hole, this hole right here, I mean, I, there is a max overpower hook shot you can do here coming this direction, but I think you still need like a bigger power ball to get through here so that you get a bounce as far up at the tip so that you can try and get all the way to the other side. I'm not so sure it wasn't a five power ball, but I'm going to start off on this hole. Sorry. <laughs> this hole, I want to work that shot because I want to be, I want to get a couple of times. I'm going to bring a, I'm going to bring a Kingmaker to start off with just to, just to, uh, give myself a look at like what it takes. If it's going to take more than a three power ball, I'm going to bring that, that bag right there. I might. My extra mile might be better. Actually, because I'm doing a max overpower hook shot and setting it up, the Thor's hammer, you now this Thor's hammer has the same as my extra mile. I get more distance there. All right. Practice. Practice. We're not going to worry about whether I make the first shot or what the deal is. I'm just trying to get on video. I'm not trying to keep notes or anything. I'm giving myself 55 minutes and then I'll have to stop. So we'll see if we can get it done in 55 minutes. I think it took a bigger ball. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. I'm just curious to see like where I can get to. So like I'm trying to get to that area right there. There's five. There's 15. I'm going to start off, so I have a spot, see where the rough line is there? I'm going to start off one ring in from that. Two nine, it's a ring and a half. And see if we can see like how far off trajectory we are there. It hit pretty good in the fairway, not nearly enough. And I can go, I started off one ring to the right and I need to take it to the left. And I could probably go two rings so I can put it one ring off of that rough transition on the right hand side. And where it hit was out in this area. So I'm not getting enough forward movement. So a three power top spin boost ball might work. I may not have to bring out a bigger power ball, although I have room in front of me. So like a five power ball, just a straight up five power ball might be a better choice. But I think even from the rough out here, you have a pretty decent rough bump shot in this case a sand bump so there's max club there's mid and i'm in that in between area usually at three quarters i play the same as i do as at max let's see if i have any kind of a shot okay 2.7 That would be like a ring and a half. And there's a slight bit of distortion. There's a ring and a half. I'm gonna hit it two rings great to the left. Which way's the wind blowing? That was an over pull. So that was an over pull. I was like at where I was at right there. I was I was probably if you took the three quarter line, I was probably I was on the half club side of that. 
I was probably at like three eighths. <laughs> and so I probably should have used, I over pulled it using the max number. I should have used the mid number of four. I've tried three in there, but it doesn't quite work out like that. It's like it, I'm sure there is a gradual on it, but it doesn't. Uh... All right, any shot here? I'm gonna practice that one more time. Now that we got some trajectory, See if we can get our trajectory right and, and how short we are. And then if the only difference is bringing out a ball with a little bit of top spin. We will see. My intention was to just go out and play some Tour 5 and play some Oasis holes, but uh, since they're open, and we're in the practice session. I really do believe that that whole practicing during the tournament, like once the rounds start and there's no more practice, you got to go play. There's other ways to offset the practice tokens that you would you would lose and that we would be interested in. There's other ways to monetize the game to to change change that, but it set the game in a different direction. There's a lot of shit we're asking for in the game that they don't give us for whatever fucking reason. This hole right here, I'm just going to play. I'm going to, I'm, I think, I don't think there's any holes for the rest. I'm just going to play the rest of the round. Like this hole right here, a kingmaker, a power three ball work, but I'm going to go out with a, I'm going to use a katana on this hole just to see. I'll show you what it looks like with a katana so you understand the deal. You can get it. I'm going to play with a Titan. What am I thinking? Come on. If we're, if we're practicing, we got to at least bring out a power three ball. We're playing in a tournament, so you may not play these normally like that, but why not bring out a better ball? If you get up in trouble and you've got a power three ball, a lot of times you can get out just because of the power three ball. <laughs> I don't want to get that run. Two is enough. Give myself two rings. Two nine. I'm gonna do ten percent, so that's three three. So there's three one, three three. I'm gonna lean just a little, hitting it perfecto, el perfecto. Two top spin, two side spin. Two right hand side spin, two top spin. If it's the new pin placement, hitting over to the other side over there is definitely the way to go. But with this pin placement, I don't think so. Although I will say that there is a shot off that island, and I believe that the last couple times we've played this hole. We tried it out where you can, and I might try that next. I'll, we'll look at this one and then play this hole one more time because the center island might be the way to go. I think what we were doing was hitting, checking out that rough bump. It is freaking narrow, but there is a rough bump that you can do. So you can see what kind of, what you got on this side. So you're bouncing over the sand. Side spin helps. You gotta watch that second bounce. It's so close to the. It doesn't look from right here like it's that close to the rough. But if you're looking at it, it's one cut, one ring, great to the right. Sniper at max club, 3 2. Isn't it perfect? That's just a straight up shot with nothing. And I can say I under pulled it, but I need to go back and watch where that second bounce was because if you pull it, that's like a quarter of a ring. If you pull it that way, where's that second bounce end up? 
You had a bigger side spin ball, I suppose, if you had if you got way up there so that you brought out a bigger ball just for the second shot so that you could start up there closer and use your side spin to come around. But there off that island there is a rough bump. Let me go practice it one one time. One time. One time I'll show I'll we'll we'll burn some practice tokens here. What do you spend all your gems on? Practice tokens. If we're truly playing a tournament, I mean, though, think as a player, if we're truly playing a tournament, like, like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe more people want it to be where, you know, I don't know. Being able to practice nine times and then play the whole, like, coming out here and practicing, we're before the tournament starts, we're out practicing. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to practice before the tournament starts. But once the tournament starts, the practice shit's over. Like, you can't sit and practice the hole with the exact win that you're going to get nine times until you get it right and then go play it. I mean, you'd really play it nine, you'd play it however many times it was where you hit it twice and made it. And then you go out there and play it. <laughs> I'm on a run. Let me practice that one more time. I wanna, let's practice hole number two one more time. And I think I can do it with the same stuff that I have. I should get my trusty dusty calculator out. We'll see how far we can get. Now, here's the deal. I, I don't know what the bracketing is, but it should be pretty simple. If somebody's practicing hole number two of nine, par four, in the Summer Shores Tournament, playing rookie... We should be able to get matched up. Now, I'm not saying that that would... It's not like everybody in the world is playing, so there's still going to be a certain amount of time, but there's enough people playing that it should open it up. And I would I would hope that that's how it is right now. I mean, I just got two people practicing. But I don't think it's like that because Dunner and I have got accounts that can get hooked up that have all the right stuff and account and we don't play them very often and or we don't do raise them up because like we know that those two accounts can play right there with each other. is to get onto the island. I'm going to put all of the backspin on because I'm going to have to put a little bit of overpower. I'm going to be right dead center. Four or five. Extra mile. That's two and a half rings. That'd be five. That puts me three rings in a power. <laughs> That should still get me there. All right, all right. We struck, and a bigger ball right there would help you. Like every round, if you brought out a power five ball, you could pull back like four or five rings from your red line, your front red line. That'd give you ten miles an hour in wind, and so you'd pull back to like the plus sixteen or whatever mark. And if you're if if you're getting closer to that rough area where you first come onto it what you can do is find out where your red line's at and that mark and go dead center in the middle so you're giving yourself as big a ring around as you can and then set the shot up and then that way you can set it up exactly the same every day no matter what way the wind's blowing you can be in the same spot the more you're in the same exact spot for the second shot the better and i'm gonna have to add on wind i think or did i take wind off of there's max. I'm gonna go 4.3 times 1.1 divided by one. It's 4.73 rings. Man, that is freaking narrow. And I don't think I have enough backspin. I do. Excellent.
4.73 rings. There's 4, 7, 3. Hitting it perfect. Let's see if it hits the rough. Nope. No, I needed to. I pulled it 10% right there, but that had to be at least a 20. At least a 20%. That's a that is a dangerous ass way to go. And like today's wind actually was, even though it's headwind, it's not a bad day to hit that on if you can get it worked out because the you're not having to pull over the sand. I always like to practice these shots, you get confidence in them. Except when you hit you can get all of those grates out of your system. <laughs> I need to let those settle a little bit. All right, all right. We got a we got an idea on that hole, hole number three. I am almost positive there's like a ten percent adjustment on this practice, and I'm pretty sure you got to bring out a bigger ball just to get to the area. I could be wrong on that. It could be a quasar. We'll see where the lines are. I'm pretty sure there's at least a 10% adjustment. I'm going to do a 15 just to be safe. We'll see which way the wind's blowing. It seemed like there was an odd adjustment here. Here we go. on the old days like this was like they've changed they've redesigned this hole and this rough bump that's up in the front that we're using really wasn't there way back in the day and it wasn't as effective because the green itself had a shelf on it and so when the ball rolled like that it would roll up on the top of the shelf and then fall off and now it's kind of flat. You look at it right there and you go, man, it's all hilly. It's flat compared to what it was. <laughs> I mean, Grizzly. Here's Max. Let's swap that out for a Quasar. Okay, there's Max. There's Min. There's Max. It makes that mid something like three quarter club right dead center at three quarter club two point six two point six divided by two three okay I'm gonna let that time out but I know what uh I got two backspin and a sliver of right hand or left hand side spin. I got my numbers worked out. So I'm kind of at, it's, it's a, I'm going to play it at one per ring. It's 0.9 at max and it's 1.1 at mid. So I'm going to play it at three quarters and I'm going to play it at one per ring. So whatever the wind is, plus times 15%, 1.15, I had two backspin and I'm gonna put two and one Let's see if I can make that work that'll be easy two and one and 5.1 5.87 rings there's five eight seven fucking and they had a great if it looked like <laughs> if, if it looked like I wasn't set up on that white ring when I started where I was right on the edge you're right the ring was getting distorted right there 
and I was trying to, and over on the one cut above it, it wasn't being distorted. And so I was trying to follow that line around as it curved around and made the arc on the bottom and trying to cut off the part that was being. I play that a lot in one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, that's how I do it in one-on-one. -on -one. When I make those kind of shots and it's worked for me for years. So that's what I do. In tournaments, I don't know. I try not to put myself in positions where I have to play that shit. All right, hole number four. Didn't we just practice hole number four? Hole number four? The Oasis? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, What I really want to do is get right in here and take the rough bump. I really want to play this with a Guardian. So let me switch one of my bags and put a Guardian in it. And I think this is the hole that I was playing the Thor's Hammer on. I'm going to put a Guardian in. That'll work fine. I'm going to bring that, uh, I'm going to bring a Titan again. Titan! Titan! The King of Balls. That's right, you heard it here. It's the Titan. All right, here we go. I brought that Thor's hammer, but I don't have, do I have Thor's hammer numbers? The power of three bots, 1.7 per ring. Ten cup. Ten cup goes first. Step away for a second. Not, my friends, was a little too far, and a marlin gets it done easily on this hole. But I'm, I'm trying to see. I, I can't remember if a power three ball screws your, your red line or your line stuff up. Three point one, two rings. I don't think I have to get down there. The whole thing is everybody's trying to get down to the bottom, but I don't. I think you really need to get down to the bottom. I'm just going to put on two topspin and see what that looks like on the other side. And we're out practicing. I actually set that shot up wrong. So I don't really want to do that. What I want to do is I want to pull back to the plus two mark and set it up from there with three and a half and then take the shot from that spot so I pull back to the plus two that's what I want to do I don't want to start setting that shot up at the beginning of the week where I'm all the way against my red line with a tailwind I want to pull back from the red line if I'm going to use that ball combo and set the shot up I want to pull back from the red line give myself some room I have tons of topspin I can use and see if there's a spot that I can find out there where I'm at plus three or plus two or plus zero or plus five or whatever. You know, give yourself give yourself some rings ahead of you. Like if you're playing rookie and you don't think the wind's gonna get over six miles an hour or seven miles an hour, then if you can give yourself seven miles an hour of adjustment. So you can see my white or my orange ring, there's one seven, there's five. There's like six miles an hour. That's at the plus two mark. And that's four top spin. And that's not gonna work. Three, six. 
2.32 rings. Two three two. And I hit a one ring great to the left, which will clip on the rough on the other side. Will it? Just missed it. And, up. and it scooted all the way to the bottom. <laughs> it scoots on that side, so like I don't think you if because you're so low on the first bounce, when it comes up and it comes on the other side, it hits the hill like halfway down its flight, and it's downhill, and so it just starts scooting. I'm going to take a stop shot. I'm going to go straight up at the hole. I'm not going to do any. I want to see what it looks like if I go straight at the hole. No, I'm going to play wherever I'm at in my club. I'm not going to make any predeterminations on where I'm going to go. And, if, and I think it's going to miss because I think there is an adjustment we need to do, but I'm not sure. <laughs> this always seems like one of those holes that you're like right on it. Okay, I got plenty of room on my red line. There's, there's Min. There's Max. So I'm at mid club. And mid guardian is, uh, ch -ch -ch. I don't have my cheat sheet with me. It's 1.1 at max. I think it's 1.3. So 4.1 divided by 1.3. And even if that's wrong, I can go back and do read the reverse math. 3.15 rings. There's 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, but from that spot, I think you could probably get to that spot with a katana and you could bring out a sniper and you could still always have the room in the front. The thing about bringing a guardian, if you're playing this hole in tour play, having a guardian in your bag, this hole right here works really well with a guardian because like you can, if you're in guardian range, in any range, you can backspin it on, you can rough bump it, you can bounce it off the island. You barely can bounce it off the island, but you can. A lot of times you're bouncing it off the island, you're doing a second bounce rough bump, and then it's it's bleeding out onto the, the, the little fringe area there. I like that hole. I like that hole. I think we got good good odds on that. Hole number five. Ah, oh, this is the fish hole, and I need to go back. Hold on, let me let me go back and watch and find a video. Hold on. I just noticed something. I was getting ready to leave this page, and but it says right here that this is the Oasis Two. We are playing on the modified. We are. It does not say in their deal. I go look in their thing. Uh, Summer Shores. Summer Shores tournament. Ah, uh, using the second set of pins. They keep changing the, the vernacular on this, and I didn't catch it. The Oasis 2 would have been nice here instead of the Oasis. This needs to be established. Alternate pins or second set of pins or whatever they want to use, but like that's the that's what everybody in the industry uses. The Oasis two holes, so that means I gotta rethink how I'm playing some of these holes. So I guess playing tour five right now is very, very good. I've gotten that wrong all up to this point, so everybody out there that uh if you didn't catch that, or you knew, you knew what I was talking about. That's the deal. Thank you. Thank you for... That's why that pin was so close. That explains it. All right. So hole number five, I'm going to have to rethink hole number five because, like, the original pin placement here is awesome, but the new pin placement's over here, and I still think there is a rough bump, but it's not as good as this rough bump. And I, I did this one the other day in practice, and I did plus 10%, but I, I'm not sure that that's correct. 
but I'm going to try, we'll try that. So it's 1.1 times the wind divided by 1.1. Those numbers balance out, so it's just the wind. I think I got into this situation before because I play my guardian on this hole. Let's make sure we got that back set up with the guardian. And I play, I think you can play it with the lower power balls. I think you can play it with a quasar. I'm not sure you need the spin. The navigator might be better. We'll see when we get out there. We'll go practice this hole and see from that spot. We're going to take it at 10%. And at 1.1, maybe. Maybe. This hole right here was my nemesis when I played Tour 9. This hole it was fucking brutal to me. I, I didn't... I. I didn't catch that rough bump until later and I came and I'm not sure from the pro tee with a marlin you can reach it. And so this was always a tough part three to get around there. It was a crapshoot and I always seemed to lose. <laughs> If I can get an opponent. Thank you, Colin. I go first. And so let's try and get this set up. I'm trying to come in from this angle. This is one of those things about on this hole is it's easier to set the shot up from this side than it is on the other. I think it's max backspin. You find the spot that works. Let's try that much backspin. try the shot again we're gonna try and set it up try and set it up before my opponent uh, my if my opponent was smart they would miss some putts and they would they would watch the deal and let me get some shots in because they're just firing it out there they're just seeing what it takes to get up onto the green because that's like zero setup like is that do you have any confidence that that's gonna go in other than just shit house luck yeah you can be close okay hey now, and I'm not saying that's bad on a hole like this. If you can just be close, that's good. But I don't think that way you actually have a shot at home one. Let's going right at it. I'm going to just do 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. Oh, fuck. I can't hit perfect today. This is the day to hit perfects. <laughs> They gotta beat him in the shootout. After he spotted me a shot, <laughs> there's some there's something in there, but the whole deal is is we need to figure out exactly what our spin is. So we can put the spin on the ball exactly the way it's supposed to be, because it's a pain in the ass to try and find it when you're out there. Put the spin on. Spin it around so you're on the other side of the of the of your ring set from where you normally set up adjust it so that it's going right at the flagpole because you know that that spin will work so you just got to find the spot you find the spot now you're in the same spot you were the last time because you got the same spin you're in the same spot and you adjust the wind out i need my grid i need grid grid could have used my grid on that one all right 
winner winner chicken dinner what is what is this big asshole that you speak of hole number six let me go look at this since i'm playing those other tees i got to rethink how i'm playing these holes okay with the old tee you really wanted to play over here and come at it but with the new tee i think you want to try and get as far as you can up here and you have several options i think you have a rough bump that you can do but i don't know how far you can get up into that hole so i'm going to play this with the i'm going to bring that this bag right here and we're going to bring a kingmaker I think we need to actually change that out for a Goliath. Because I think that rough bump, if there is a rough bump up there, it might be too far away for a grizzly. All right. All right, here we go, here we go. Practice now, practice, practice, practice. Wow, I've, I'm on hole number six. I started off with three practice tokens, and I have four. Man, shit's... I can't believe I'm getting lucky, and shit's firing off. We're aware. Let's go for a walk. got an opponent because I'm going for a walk I'll probably go first I go first all right we want to set up going this direction we want to get up into that hollow so I'm going to put on two top spin I'm going to pull I'm blue ring off on the I am orange ring off on the right at my red line. I'm going to pull back to the plus six mark. And I'm going to be orange ring off two, three. I'm going to do three, or excuse me, two rings. It's three miles per hour. Max curl. Isn't it perfect? Let's see where that puts me as far as trajectory. put a little teeny bit more top spin on it and I need to go out more to the right where I'm only like a ring and a half off of that instead of two and I could put like one more bar of top spin but that's the area you want to be in out there and just doing a max curl shot it's a blind curl shot I think with the new pin placements Really, the only the best shot at the cup, if you're actually going for it, is on that side. I don't think you have a shot over here anymore. The bounce that he bounced that he bounce hole. And I don't know that I have a shot at it over here with a three power ball. Ah. Like you take the distance that I am from here to here, take this distance and move it forward, you're up in this area and if you bring out a bigger power ball you've got a rough bump that you can do here. So getting that extra distance is huge on taking the next shot and actually being able to go for the cup. Just giving ourselves a look at it. A look. That, in the old pin placement, that is about the best kind of look you'll ever get from that side. 
but I think if you bring out a bigger power ball and I get more distance going up that that rough bump presents itself but you have to be in the right spot and you have to have the right shit in order to do that rough bump that sands actually I think pretty flat so it's not like one of those sand traps that's really bad to pull on nice shot's not nearly as good from that side as it used to be. Not nearly as good. Alright, there we have it. That is hole number whatever. Is that hole number five? I don't have any notes at all yet for it. I'm just out practicing, so nothing. A pitcher, that's all I have. A pitcher's worth a thousand words though. Hole number seven. We are on hole number seven. Ah, this one. And I really think you gotta bring out a bigger power ball and you just play with a sniper. You gotta bring out a big enough power ball so that you can get up to the rough bump and then it's like plus fifteen percent. It might be more than that it might be less it's something but there's definitely we're doing something here what's up puppies what's up puppies are you looking for a cookie getting a cookie got an opponent I almost lost track yeah there's my red line with a three power ball so 3.6 4.14 rings I'm gonna do 4.2 Four and a half backspin and one and a sliver of left hand side spin. 4.14 rings. And I hit it great to the right. Come here, Itsy Bitsy. And it went great to the right. There's a rough bump there, though. Four and a sliver, or four and a half, and one and a sliver left. It'd be nice to know when you go on these holes what the spin is, so you can put the spin on and immediately go down and find the spot. Then you can set the shot up and really take your time. Have plenty of time left on the clock so you're not in a hurry. You can also hit off of that island. And use a little more backspin and bring it right up to the cup as opposed to trying to do the bounce did he bounce rough bump and I, you can make a hole in one on any of those shots but like trying to find one where you can make a hole in one consistently is a different story because that right there will be a pretty popular landing area this week If they show the little screen on where everybody lands, that'll be a popular spot. All right. I have a plan for that hole. I'm doing a rough bump. It does take a power three ball, and you can see where the red line was. If there was a big headwind day, you might actually have a problem and, believe it or not, have to bring out a four power ball.
All right, practice now. All right, with the new pin placement, I think that the, I took this from, I played this in Tour 5 the other day, and thinking that we were gonna be playing the old pin placement, but I shot to over here, and I think I still had a shot. I still had the same shot where I could rough bump it and, and do the deal, I was just farther away. And that if you were over here, I'm not so sure, I'm not sure what shot you had. Getting over to here, in my opinion, up to the tip, is kind of harder than just getting up to the shadow here. I'm going to go for the shadow. Because if you get up there far enough, you can actually get in a wedge range. Like max wedge. And I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring this bag and a Titan. The King! Went out to practice and ended up practicing. I was just going to play some tour play. Especially now that I know that we're playing on the new holes and that the tour five is absolutely relevant. I played it yesterday and I was getting it. It's half and half. So, I mean, half the holes should be Oasis and I was getting about half my holes Oasis. Thank you, Playdemic. Thank you for not beating me with a stick and making it so I only get it a third of the time. And I'm saying that, and I'm not being sarcastic. I'm actually saying thank you. Put a little gold star up there. I definitely want to start off over here. I'm going to pull back to the plus six. Got five, five top spin on. Three one. I'm going to do three three. It's two and a fifth, two and a fifth rings. And I'm gonna lean just slightly. Hit a one ring great to the right. And that should be fine. Should be. Just a little short of where I'd like to be. You can get all the way to the tip down there and I'm almost positive that you're in your wedge. And I am quite a ways. I, the one ring great to the right clips the rough and bleeds out. The one, the perfect hits the fairway and comes out to the shadow. And the one ring great to the left, the only problem with it is that it might tail off because I run out of fairway faster, it tails off down here and gets caught up, it tails off into the rough. But it's a pretty straightforward shot. <laughs> but if you hit it too far, you can end up in the sand down there and uh, yeah, no, we're both practicing. We both would have liked to have been like, I'm in my kingfish right here, and you can see where my red line's at. Like, what would it be like if I actually was in the spot down here? Let's make sure I end up in the spot. dude come on man i was trying to entice you you're actually trying to hit the shot where i just hit to you're actually trying to hit that shot we're practicing okay come on dude like practice it like go back to that go back to the area like i'm like come on man jeez dude jeez i'm gonna take off five percent 1.95 or 0.95 0.95 and I still am in Kingfisher. I'm right at min. Minimum Kingfisher is 1. Point, it's 2.1. I don't have enough. I don't have enough with my Kingfisher. I'd have to play it with a Hornet. I don't 
think there's enough on it. Four five times four point five divided by two point one. It's two rings. Getting it perfect. I don't think it has enough oomph to get up the hill. Didn't have enough. That's right where the ball guy was ending. A hornet would have been the club to bring there. Yeah. And that was with, I took off a little bit of wind and I think I still over pulled it. I have to go back and look at that and see, but I think I still over pulled it and I took some wind off. Whole number, but my opponent missed a great opportunity there where we could have went out and practiced that second shot. That's the shot they were really looking for. Like, what does that shot look like? If you're going to practice, I mean, if you're going to practice, practice, and hopefully your opponent will pick up on it and they'll practice as well. Like, hey, let's stay on the same deal here. Scorecard. Hole number nine. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Okay, like, let's think about, I'm going to bring out, I'll just bring out a, I'll bring out a kingmaker. And where I, where I would really, really like to get, let me zoom in a little, where I'd really like to get is all the way up in the front here. But I think you have to bring out a bigger ball just to be able to reach the rough bump that's here. But I'm not sure with the new pin placement whether, where that rough bump is at because it worked in the old pin placement but if the new pin placement's over here this shot's going to work better and so i'm going to bring i'm going to bring my apoc guardian bag actually we need we need to have what we need here is ball guide and distance i'm going to bring my thor's hammer and let's 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 go for the deal. Let's let's actually practice this hole with like what we might bring out. And let's bring out a power five ball. Let's bring out an ape or a berserker. And I'm gonna play my Thor's hammer because it's got all the ball guide and top spin. It does have a little bit less distance, but I'm trying to make that up with the with the ball. And this is not necessarily about this shot it's really kind of about the setting myself up i want to see what i can get done with this actually let's bring a horizon it gives me the best of all the worlds it gives me good distance it gives me good top spin good ball guide accuracy is same as an extra mile i think with a power five ball my horizon is actually at like 1.9 per ring We'll take that bag right there and we'll see what we can get done with that bag. If we can't get it done with that bag, anybody that you see who's playing this hole that's playing it, shooting to the fairway on the left is their first shot. Even if they bring out a monster ball, they cannot get on the green in two. Have relegated themselves to a shot from distance for eagle. So they're treating this hole as a birdie hole with an eagle opportunity. But if you hit to that center island, you have several different ways to make this an albi hole, an eagle hole with an albi opportunity. Yes, baby. Oh, and I just got somebody. I'm on the last hole. Did you say no? no? Did you hit no on the little thing you got? Ah. And my timer's up. Perfect timing. I set a 55 minute timer and we're on hole nine. I just made it. Now uh, you might be able to get over to the other side with some of these toss and baseballs. It might be possible with the right wind. My opponent's going for it. Excellent. Look at that shit. Now they can get on a one. They can. That is for sure right there, bro. They're taking the shot that everybody else is hoping to get. Man, you can get over. Shit, just using that wind you could get over. 
I want to show you the shot from right here though because this shot you don't have to do anything special but with a five power ball shit you can get up here and you can do a rough bump three eight Thor's hammer is one I'm gonna take out the wind plus a little I'm gonna put one ring back in and imperfect I'll see if I can rough bump onto that island you got to get all the way to the tip I think in order to do now with the new pin placement I'm right in between the trees right there but I think I'm too far away to do a rough bump maybe I do have a horizon if you can't get it done with a horizon, you just can't get it done. I'm going to take the shot as dangerous as it is. I'm going to take the shot with no special unless... Because it, it looks like you can get right down to your ring. So I'm not going to add anything on. I'm just going to play it wherever I'm at in my club. Whatever shot I play. I'm going to look at that rough bump though. It'd be nice if your opponents were intuitive enough and not in such a hurry that they were, uh, you know, they're on the green right there. They can make the putt. So, like, if they see me practicing the hole and I'm looking at a shot, they can learn something from it. Like, letting me catch up to see, like, what the deal is. Because I'd really like to take a look at this shot. Man, that is rough. There is a rough bump through there. Maybe. I'd have to stay in that spot. Five point one, five point one divided by one point nine is two six eight. This wind is perfect. Two seven. And I hit it great to the left. I clipped the tree. I don't know that I'd want to hit it through there. There's a there is a narrow window up through those trees. And I think if you got all the way to the front and got in front of them, that there is no, uh, with the new pin placement, I don't think there's a shot at it. Like, I don't think you can get far enough in front of that tree. Maybe. Maybe. But what I'm saying is, if I was in this spot right here, right at the very tip could I clear that tree to get to the coal and I don't think you can I don't think there's a shot anymore because the old pin placements over here That was close. That was close. <laughs> close to a dunk. Good game. Good game. Good game, my man. Okay, so let's let's try that again. I'm gonna do one more practice second. I'm gonna burn one more here. And we're gonna play hole number nine. And we're gonna try and get out to the same spot, but instead of trying to go for the shot, we're gonna go from the right coming around. So in that case, I don't need to bring out a power five ball, which is what I think I did there. I can play with a power three and bounce over to that island. I don't have to get as far on it, so uh, I like where my I like what my opponent was thinking, bouncing off the island and getting over to the other side. You do have a killer shot from over there. I 
I can do what my opponent's doing right there, and that's what I plan on doing with the uh, power three ball. Is you can start off on that side and get your second bounce. You do a second bounce rough bump onto the island. You got to get your curl right, and they're riding the line on there, and they're short shooting the fuck out of that shot. The hell, the crap. You can get it done with a marlin, and they actually overhit it with a marlin. I mean, there, anywhere you're out there, you can you can recover. Seven, three point seven times one point one divided by one point seven, three point two point three nine rings, two point four rings. And I hit it seven thousand rings great to the left. Clipping, clipping. It would be better to bring out my APOC, the raw distance right there. I could start off more to the left so that I could get my second bounce out into the area. And I got more curl to make it up with with the APOC. Extra mile works fine because it's got lots of toss from as well. And it's got more distance. So you can see my opponents on that island with a big dog from where they're at. If you're up there with the Guardian, you've got the backspin so that your first bounce is on the island and your second bounce is green side. And when you do backspin, side spin, curl, you can super whip that ball around. Not quite at a 90, but pretty freaking close to it. So where I really wanted to get, we'll hit it to where I really wanted to get, I think. So I really just wanted to get like just on the other side of it, you know, where you just bleed out. I think this is a better angle if you're going for the shot that my opponent was. Like that's why I said you over he overshot it. We'll see what the angle looks like here. Anywhere on there works, but like if you had to pick a spot and you were going this side, I think being a little just off isn't bad. So ah, damn it, they made it. They made it, and we won't. Why? Why would, if you see people out there practicing, why would you do that? Why would you do that? Luckily, I got a second shot. And this is be a great spot for a fucking Guardian because it's got lots of backspin. You can see how much I can almost backspin it to the cup and give myself a look at it. sure just get over on the green side somewhere all right there we have it that is a practice round just going out and looking at the holes and uh I, I didn't catch that it was on Oasis 2, but that's pretty cool because that means you can play Tour 5 all week and you're getting all of the holes that are in here and they were coming up so we can blow a lot of our resources in Tour 5 this week. So if you normally play Tour 5 and you're at Tour 5, you only have the bankroll to play Tour 5, I would recommend probably playing Tour 4 this week because there are probably a lot of people, lots of people playing Tour 5. But if you want to try yourself out, the deal is is that a lot of people know the the holes and they'll bring out the stuff but that's the wrong shit to bring out on the shootout so if you play that and as long as you can force a shootout you can uh have just as good a chance thanks for watching and i will catch you on the next one